our lesson for today is all about intercepts, zeros, and asymptotes of exponential function. In this video, students will be able to, number one, determine zeros of an exponential function and determine the intercepts and asymptotes of an exponential function. How about in determining the zeros of exponential function? The first one is the zero of an exponential function refers to the value of the independent variable x that makes function zero. To find zeros of an exponential function, they have two steps. The first one is equate your f of x to zero. And the second one is solve for x. Let us have an example. Determine the zero of f of x is equal to 3 raised to x. Again, the first one is you need to equate your f of x to zero. This is why 3 raised to x is equal to zero. Then after that, if you can see, kahit ano yung isubstitute natin kay x, still hindi pa rin siya mag equal to zero. For example, 3 raised to 1. The answer is 3 is equal to zero. So, meaning walang kahit anong value ng x na pwedeng i-substitute para mag-equal to 0. So, meaning, no 0 for this f of x. Another example, determine the 0 of f of x is equal to 5 raised to 3x minus 12 minus 1. So, again, equate your f of x to 0. Next one is, lipat mo si negative 1 sa kabila. That's why, from negative 1, that will become positive 1. Next one, you need to find the common base. So, the common base between 5 and 1 is 5. Kasi kung mapapansin mo, kapag ang exponent ay 0, automatic it is equal to 1. So, next, pag parehas na sila ng common base, equate nyo yung exponent. Next one is... 3x minus 12 is equal to 0, tas lipat nyo si negative 12, that will become positive 12. Then, divide both side by 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is x, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. That's why the 0 is x is equal to 4. Another example, determine the 0 of f of x is equal to 1 half raised to 3x plus 5 minus 8. Again, equate your f of x to 0. Tapos, yung negative 8, lipat mo sa kabila. That's why it will become positive 8. And then, find the common base. Ano ba ang common base between 1 half and 8? The common base between 2 is 2. Kasi 2 cube is equivalent to 8. Tapos, yung 1 half Para magparehas sila ng common base, i-reciprocal nyo. So, that's why it become to 2 raised to negative 1 times 3x plus 5 is equal to 2 cubed. Then, after that, equate your exponent. So, negative 1 times 3x plus 5 is equal to 3. Then, after that, apply the distributive property. So, negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x and negative 1 times 5 is negative 5 is equal to 3 and combine similar terms. So, si negative 5, lipat mo doon kay positive 3. So, ay negative 3 is equal to 3 plus 5 and then after that combine. So, negative 3x is equal to 3 plus 5 is 8. Then, divide both side by negative 3. This way, negative 3 divided by negative 3 is x and 8 divided by negative 3. So, the answer is negative 8 over 3. So, meaning the 0 of f of x is negative 8 over 3. Another example, determine the 0 of f of x is equal to 5 raised to 2x plus 3 minus 1 over 625 raised to x plus 2. So, again, equate your f of x. Tapos, lipat mo yung negative 1 over 625 sa kabila. Then, after that, 
get the common base. The common base between 2 is 5. So, magiging 5 raised to 2x plus 3 is equal to 5 raised to negative 4. Bakit daw? Kasi para maging uh, whole number yung ating base. Then, after that, equate the exponent. So, 2x plus 3 is equal to negative 4 times x plus 2. Then, after that, apply distributive property. So, negative 4 times x, negative 4 times positive 2. That's why 2x plus 3 is equal to negative 4x minus 8. Then, after that, combine similar terms. So, ay 2x plus 4x, bakit daw naging positive si 4x from negative magiging positive, from positive magiging negative 3. Then, combine, so 2x plus 4x is 6x, 8 plus 3 is negative 11. Then, after that, 6x is equal to negative 11, and then, divide both sides by 6. Next one is cancel. Cancel. That's why the answer is x is equal to negative 11 over 6 or the 0 of f of x is negative 11 over 6. How about in intercepts of exponential function? The points of intersection of the graph to the axis and x intercept, when we say x intercept, the point where the graph crosses the x axis and always we need to set y is equal to 0. And y intercepts the points where the graph crosses the y axis. And in the y intercept, we need to set by x is equal to 0. For example, f of x is equal to 5 raised to x minus 125. So again, find first the y intercept, let x is equal to 0. Step number one, replace your f of x with y. So, y is equal to 5 raised to x minus 125. Then, after that, substitute the value of your x, which is 0, to your function. So, magiging y is equal to 5 raised to 0 minus 125. Then, after that, simplify. Kung naalala, sabi nga natin, in the law of exponent, if the exponent is 0, it always equivalent to 1. So, 1 minus 125. Then, 1 minus 125, the answer is negative 124. Therefore, the y-intercept is at your x is 0 and your y is negative 124. So, meaning 0 and negative 124. How about in the x-intercept? Let y is equal to 0. Replace your f of x with y. Next one is y is equal to 5 raised to x minus 125. And then, substitute your, the value of your y which is 0 to the given function. So, 0 is equal to 5 raised to x minus 125. Tapos, lipat mo si negative 125 sa kabila. From negative 125 will become 125 is equal to 5 raised to x. Then, find the common base. Kung mapapansin, ang common base is 5. Bakit daw? Kasi yung 5 nang may pinakamababa. That's why 5 cube, kasi pag sinimplify mo, 5 times 5 times 5, the answer is 125, is equal to 5 raised to x. Then, equate your exponent. That's why 3 is equal to x, or x is equal to 3. Therefore, the x-intercept is at your x is 3, your y is 0, that's why 3 and 0. Another example, f of x is equal to 4 raised to x plus 1 minus 2. Let x is equal to 0 to find the y-intercept. Again, same process, replace your f of x to y, then substitute the value of our x which is 0, that's why 0 plus 1 minus 2. So, 4 raised to 1 minus 2. That's why the equivalent is y is equal to 2. Kasi 4 minus 2 is 2. Therefore, the y-intercept is at 0 and 2. Your x is 0. Yung y mo naman is 2. How about the x-intercept? Let y is equal to 0. 
same process po, replace mo yung f of x to y, then substitute the value of your y which is 0. So, 0 is equal to 4 raised to x plus 1 minus 2. Then after that, lipat mo si negative 2 sa kabila. So, magiging 2 is equal to 4 raised to x plus 1. Then get the common base. Ang common base nilang dalawa is 2 kasi yung 2 ay meron ng exponent na 1. Meron na pong 1 yan na exponent. So, 2 is equal to 2 squared times x plus 1. Next, after that, equate your exponent which is 1 is equal to 2 times x plus 1. Then after that, simplify. So, 2 times x and 2 times positive 1. So, why 1 is equal to 2x plus 2. Then, combine similar terms. Si positive 2, lipat mo sa kabila. So, magiging 1 minus 2 is equal to 2x. Next, 1 minus 2 is negative 1 over 2x. Then, after that, divide both sides by positive 2. Then, one divide, negative 1 divided by 2 is negative 1 half and 2 divided by 2 is cancelled. So, why the answer is negative 1 half is equal to x. Therefore, the x-intercept is at your x is negative 1 half and your y is 0. So, negative 1 half and 0. How about an horizontal asymptote of exponential function? Paano nga ba kinukuha yung asymptote ng isang exponential functions? Sabi daw, graph as a horizontal dash line. Kapag nag-graph tayo by using of the exponential function, we are using dash line only. So, hindi natin pwedeng gamitan siya ng solid line. Next one is graph gets closer and closer as the increase or decrease its value without bond. So, sa exponential function kasi, pag nag-grab tayo, closer and closer siya, pero never siyang mag-meet dun sa, sa horizontal asymptotes natin. Kasi nga po, kapag lumagpas tayo dun, there tendency na, na, mag, na magkakaroon tayo ng problema sa ating limits. An exponential function of the form f of x is equal to a times b raised to px plus h has a horizontal asymptote at the line y is equal to h. Kung mapapansin mo, kapag yung isang function ay meron siyang h, so ibig sabihin, your horizontal asymptote is y is equal to h. Depende kung ano yung magiging value ng h. Pero, if there is no h, then the horizontal asymptote is equal to 0. Kapag wala kayong h na nakita, so meaning the asymptotes is equal to 0. For example, f of x is equal to 3 raised to x plus 3 plus 2. Again, kung mapapansin, meron kayong nakitang positive 2. So, meaning the horizontal asymptotes is y is equal to 2. How about this? Negative 2 raised to 2x plus 1. So, kung mapapansin, walang h. So, meaning the horizontal asymptotes is y is equal to 0. And lastly, if f of x is equal to 3 plus 4 raised to 2x. So, meaning may h kayo nakita. Ang problema lang nasa unahan. Pero still, that is an h. So, meaning your horizontal asymptotes is y is equal to 3. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share, comment, subscribe to Teacher Ren TV. Thank you!